I'm actually stunned. I can't believe you don't even pay your living expenses to your parents. How can you live without shame? What? Even though you're 35 years old now, you're still single, living at your parents' house. If I were you, I'd collapse from misery. I may be a miserable single 35 year old living at my parents' house, but I do pay money to my parents. Instead of paying a fixed amount for my living expenses, I gave them a family credit card for them to use freely. But you deactivated that credit card. Your father gave me a call saying, You finally stopped paying even for the living expenses. What? He said, Maybe I failed at parenting. He was crying very frustratedly. I feel sorry for your parents. It's a misunderstanding. I didn't deactivate it. They just spent it up to the limit. I lowered the spending limit to $5,000 per month starting this month. My parents have already maxed it out, and that's why they can't use it anymore. Don't lie to me. That kind of false accusation won't work on me. Huh? You couldn't pay your credit card bill anyway, right? I can't believe you can't even pay your credit card bill. You must have been fired from your company. Fired from my company? I don't know how that came up all of a sudden. That's because you're a miserable and embarrassing single lady. What? Anna, you were working in an apparel industry, weren't you? Yes, I'm a store representative. It's a pity that you got fired after you got promoted to that position, but it can't be helped. No one wants to buy clothes from a 35 year old woman. The brand image will be damaged, so there's no choice but to fire you. Huh? Why don't you just get married already? Since your brother is already ahead of you, you have to hurry. But even if you wanted to get married, you're an old single lady living at her parents' house, plus jobless now. Marriage has become even more difficult for you. Hey, Millie, what do you think you're saying without confirming the truth? What? Assuming that I've been fired? And why is being married such a big deal? Isn't it natural? Single women in their mid 30s are people at the bottom. The bottom? I got married in my 20s, which makes me a winner. Right now, I'm living a glamorous life overseas with Zach, who's assigned to an overseas branch. I see you on social media all the time. I see you're living a very luxurious life. Thanks to Zach's outstanding performance. I hope you can learn from him. And for the sake of your parents, find a new job as soon as possible. Even though you're in the bottom, they haven't abandoned you and are letting you live with them. How dare you talk about me like that? Just because your credit card has been stopped? You treat me like a lousy daughter who doesn't pay her living expenses. Millie made fun of me again because of that. It's true that you haven't been paying your living expenses, right? I told you that you had to pay for your own living expenses if you were going to live at our house. And yet, you broke that promise. Go get rid of the credit card limit now. You've got to be kidding me. I have no idea how much you'll spend if I remove the limit. How much do you think you spent last month alone? How am I supposed to know that? Your mother and I never look at the price when we're shopping. Please, it's time you got in the habit of looking at prices. You spent $20,000 last month. Oh, that's nothing. Your mother and I once spent $100,000 in a month. That was when your company was in its heyday. But that company has already gone under. 
Now you and mom are both unemployed and have no savings, so you better get a grip on your financial senses soon. What are you talking about, you stupid daughter? My company hasn't gone under yet. We've just been deceived and robbed. That's all. What? It's natural for a company to have fluctuations in sales, and yet the bank stopped financing us just because our sales dropped a little. At a time like that, another company in the same business offered to help. That's why I signed the papers. I didn't expect the whole company to be taken over by them. Hey, hey, calm down. They said it was a merger proposal. It's an absorption type merger. They said they'd hire all the employees of our company. They offered us a lot of good deals, so we should be grateful. You've got to be kidding me! Why is my company the one being absorbed? I thought I could make it big by absorbing their company. There's no way a falling company can absorb another company. Why did you make that assumption? Shut up, you stupid girl! You're a heartless girl who won't even cry when her precious family's company disappears. All you had to do was bring in a rich man as our son-in-law. Then we could have rebuilt the company and wouldn't have lost it. It's your fault too that it came to this, you know. Huh? I'll definitely get my company back some day, even if my eldest daughter is useless. I still have my son and his wife. I heard they're coming back from overseas soon. I'm sure Zach will reclaim the company for me. What? Zach and his wife are coming back? I didn't hear that from Millie earlier. Apparently, his overseas assignment is coming to an end soon. I'm sure they'll take that opportunity to leave and take over my company. There's no more company for him to take over. It was absorbed and disappeared. It's time you accepted reality. Shut up, you useless daughter! Don't talk back to your parents when you have nothing to offer them. Just go get rid of that credit card limit. We can't even afford to go shopping without satisfaction. This life is so wrong. Anna. I guess it's about time you saw the empty room. I just got home from a trip with my friends and was looking at it. What the hell is this? Why is my stuff cleanly gone? It means there's no place for you in that house anymore, Anna. So please just leave. We're moving in there this afternoon. So please make sure you're gone by then. Wait a minute. What do you mean you guys are moving in? What about Zach's job? You just recently came back to the U.S., right? He resigned from his job upon his return, and he finally decided to take over his parents' company. What? Our parents' company? His original plan was to take over his family's company all along. That's why he worked for a major company and gained experience. He even got to the point where he was put in charge of overseas assignments, and at last, he will become the CEO of the company. I'm going to be the wife of the CEO. That means. Seems my parents are behind the disappearance of my belongings. Yeah, your parents got rid of your stuff. When I told them we wanted to move in together when taking over the company. They were very happy. They said they'd rather live with their son and his wife than with their daughter, who's still single at a good age. No wonder they were so excited to see me off on my trip. Normally, they'd have insisted that I take them with me. I thought it was weird that they didn't ask for souvenirs or anything. You don't even pay for your own living expenses. You're unemployed since you got fired from your job. So, how did you afford to go on a trip like that? Don't you realize that you're a miserable single, jobless old woman? Huh? Well, 
You will realize it sooner or later, even if you don't want to. You will be kicked out of your parents' house, and you will start living a lonely single life. A life without jobs, money, and men is just too painful to imagine. But it's a life that would suit you very well, Anna. A single jobless sister-in-law like you should get out of here. From today on, your parents' house and company belong to your brother and his wife. That's very helpful. Thank you. Huh? I never thought the day would come when I'd be saved by your misunderstandings. Once again, thank you for giving me this chance. I can't believe I can finally get out of this hell. I'm really happy. Huh? Why are you happy, Anna? You just got kicked out of your house by your own parents, and you're happy? Are you out of your mind? You've been given a comfortable life, and yet you call it hell? You don't even have a heart to thank your parents, do you? How can I thank them? They still can't accept the fact that their company went under, and they're using up my money on lavish shoppings. Do you have any idea how hard I work to live with them? What? Their company went under? Their sense of money is as crazy as ever. I'm sure that's why they spent twenty thousand dollars using my credit card. I can't tell you how much my family's finances have tortured me over the years. If I wasn't such a talented sales manager, I'd be bankrupt. Wait a minute. What the hell was that all about? It can't be true that the company went under. I knew it. They didn't tell you anything, did they? I'm sorry, but my family's company went under a long time ago. There's nothing for Zach to take over anymore. What? What do you think, Anna? You must have been surprised to find it empty when you came back. I've sold all your stuff. I'm going to have you leave so you won't be single any longer. Huh? If we force you to live alone, you'll meet more people, and maybe you'll find someone to marry. You're making your parents worry, even at a good age. Unlike your brother, you have no filial piety. Don't talk so high and mighty. You just want to get rid of me to live with your son and his wife. Millie told me you're going to live with Zach and his wife from now on. Oh, so you knew? Good. That's why you have to leave now. From now on, we'll live in elegant retirement with our son and his wife. Elegant life with Zach and his wife. He was in a major company. He makes more money than you. He must have had a lot of money saved up. He'll give us a credit card with no limit, and with what he's done so far, he'll take my company back in no time. What a brilliant son I have! Yes, he's a brilliant son who has your blood running deep in his veins. He's just as scatterbrained and debt-ridden as you are. He can't give you a credit card because he can't even make one. What? What do you mean he's in debt, and he can't make a credit card? Zach and his wife were so excited living abroad that they spent too much. That's why they have a lot of debt. They don't have any credit cards now, and they can't even make one. What? What will happen to our lives then? How are we supposed to do our shopping from now on? Maybe he'll cut into his savings and give you a certain amount of money, or maybe you won't get any allowances. Huh? You all can talk and figure out what to do. I'm leaving, so it's none of my business. Well then, I hope you have fun living together. I can't live with them anymore. Help me, Anna. Oh dear, what's wrong? It hasn't even been a month since you started living together. But I can't do it anymore. 
Your parents were furious when we told them about our financial situation. They said, if we can't pay our living expenses, we have to do all the chores. They started to force me to do all the housework and started fooling me. Wow, they're taking it out on you because they can't have the luxuries they've dreamed of. I'm so ashamed of them, even though they are my parents. But we are also victims of being tricked. We came here thinking there would be a company to take over. Then we found out that the company was actually merged with another company. And I can't become the wife of the CEO. But when I pointed this out to them, they got even angrier and went on a rampage. They told me that I had no right to speak up. I'm sorry you're going through so much already. But I'm sure you'll get along just fine with each other. Just try a little harder. I can't. Please. Let me escape to your place, Anna. What? To my place? I thought you had just been fired from your company. But actually, I was wrong. I heard that you are still working hard at the Aperol Company. In fact, I heard you got a big promotion and your annual salary has increased. Where did that information come from? Well, the promotion and the increase in income are true. So, is it true that you're living in a luxury townhouse? I heard you moved to a nice townhouse. Yeah, I took the plunge and bought a brand new townhouse. My parents spent a lot of my money, so I'm taking out a 35 year loan with no down payment. But with my current income, I think I can afford it. Please, let us live in that house for a while. We somehow want to get out of this house. We'll leave as soon as we get our lives back on track. So please, tell me your address. Absolutely not. What? You know, I'm a 35 year old woman who used to live with my parents. I want to enjoy my single life a little more. Oh. And it's not like I've given up on marriage either. I can't bring in a nice guy if my brother and his wife are around. Well, if that happens, just let us know and we'll leave. And I apologize for everything I've said. So please help us. I'm sorry. I'm a woman in the bottom. I don't have a generous heart. I'm not going to help someone who's made fun of me so much. Oh no. Don't worry. My brother is a brilliant man. Maybe he really can rebuild the family business. In fact, he may even start his own company and succeed. Then, good luck with taking care of my brother and parents. Zach went to work for the company that absorbed our parents' company. However, he had to start as an ordinary employee. He can do his job reasonably well and is achieving results. However, compared to his previous job at a major company, his salary is half of what it used to be and his motivation is still sluggish. Moreover, the employees who used to work for his parents' company don't have a good impression of him saying, is he the son of that selfish CEO? Millie and my parents finally decided to work part time to make ends meet. I hope this will be a good opportunity for everyone to get back to a proper sense of finances. Well, it's none of my business anymore. I'll enjoy my elegant single life in a townhouse with a glass of wine and slices of prosciutto in my hand. Congratulations, sis! That told me that you finally got engaged. Thank you, Sheila. But I'm surprised. I can't believe someone would get engaged to an ugly girl like you. There are men out there who love women like you. What? It's really funny that an ugly nerd girl who studies all the time is getting married. I mean, I never thought you had other interests besides studying. I thought if you had time to date guys, all you do is study. What's with that tone of voice? Aren't you going to celebrate your sister's marriage? Even if I don't celebrate, 
Mom and Dad will. You've been a good girl since you were a kid. Got into a good college, got a good job at a good company, and next thing you know, you're getting married. You really are the perfect daughter for your parents. You must be so happy to get lots of praise from mom and dad as always. Huh? I feel small because I have a really good sister. I bet mom and dad's gonna ask me when I'm going to get married, or maybe. They will tell me to follow my sister's example a little bit. Oh, it's so depressing. It's repulsive to see you with everything going so well. I'm sure your parents say that because they're worried about you. If you don't want them to say that, you should get a real job. What? Mom and Dad told me about you. I heard you got fired from your part-time job again after three days. After graduating from your high school, you've been playing around. Start working, and getting fired right away. No wonder mom and dad are worried. Shut up! It's the manager's fault for firing me after being late for work for only three hours. I didn't do anything wrong. People blame me all the time. The manager and my parents. You don't know how I feel. Because you're always getting praised, Sheila. Don't think that you're the only one who can have everything go so well. You should follow sometimes too. Don't get carried away just because you got engaged. Sorry, Mila. I actually have something important to tell you. I'm sorry to come out nowhere, but. I need you to break up with me. I want you to break off the engagement. What? What? What are you talking about? All of a sudden, did I do something to offend you? No, it's not like that. It's just that there's someone I'd rather marry than you. What? I want to marry Sheila instead of you. So please, break up with me. I want to live a happy life with Sheila. Wait a minute, Sheila? You mean it can be my little sister Sheila, right? It's just someone with the same name, right? No, it's your little sister Sheila. We started dating just last week. What? To be honest, she's more my type than you. And Sheila made a move on me. She's young, cute as hell, and aggressive. How could I say no to her? You got to be kidding me! Cheating on me during our engagement period alone is unthinkable. Plus, you're having an affair with my own little sister, and you want to marry her. So you want to break up with me? Do you realize how insane you're being? Insane or not, you can't help but love who you love. I love Sheila more than you, who suffocate me just by being together. I'm definitely more fun and happy with Sheila. What? To tell you the truth, I've been thinking about our engagement recently. I like you, and I think you're a wonderful woman. But you got another promotion, right? A woman who works harder and makes more money than a man isn't exactly cute. I'm just not having a good time with you. Huh? Does it mean? You don't enjoy my promotions. You were supporting me on my job, but I get a steady promotion and higher salary. You say it's not cute? That's just awful. You're the one who's terrible. You hurt a man's pride. On that note, Sheila is the type of the girl who can do anything without me, and she's cute. I want to spoil her in every way I can, and that's how a girl should be. I just can't believe what you're saying. The reason why you cheated on me is so self-centered that I don't get it, and you're blaming me for it, which I don't get it either. Let's call off the engagement. I don't want a guy who would cheat on his girlfriend just because your girlfriend got a promotion. Well then, you be my sister-in-law from now on. Take care of me as your brother-in-law. What? You think you can be the son-in-law of my parents? What? 
Why can't I? I was originally going to be their son-in-law. Yes, but you're the kind of guy who will switch from me to my sister. There's no way my parents would approve of you being their son-in-law. With the big sister or the little sister, it doesn't change the fact that their precious daughter is getting married to me. Your parents wanted a son-in-law, so of course they will allow me to be the one. I doubt it. Well, I'm finally looking forward to getting married. I can be a son-in-law to a wealthy family and also get a young and pretty wife. And if I need any help, I got my sister-in-law who's a career woman, right? My life is going great. Wait, what do you mean by wealthy? My parents are both average company employees, you know? Oh, come on. How can you be average when you live in such a big mansion? I was so scared when I visited to meet your parents, you know? I thought it was just a normal house, but it's a huge luxury mansion. I didn't know you were the daughter of a wealthy family. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, David, the mansion is... Oh, yeah. I'm going to live in that mansion after I marry Sheila. What? Since I'm going to be their son-in-law, it's only natural that we live together. So, you will have to move out when I move in. Even though you're my sister-in-law, you're also my ex-girlfriend. I don't think Sheila would like you living under the same roof. So, you pack up your stuff and get out of the mansion. Don't be silly! Why should I move out of my parents' mansion for you guys? Shut up, Mila. You got dumped by me. Don't you go against me. Huh? I'm going to be son-in-law who is taken into your family because you don't have any brothers. In other words, I'm the head of this family when I get married. So, if I tell you to leave, you have no choice but to obey me. I will live in your parents' big mansion so you get out. I can help it if the big sister who I dumped it would be living in the same mansion. That's the mansion I built. What? The head of this family? Of course not. If you really want to be the head of the family, buy the mansion. Then the mansion will be yours for real. Huh? Wait a minute. What do you mean? The mansion you build? I mean it as it is. I built it with the money I earned. What the hell? No wonder you never apologized for cheating on me. And you were rather bossy? You thought we were a wealthy family and thought you could have it all. I truly stunned. In an instant, my longtime love for you cooled. I knew it was a good thing we broke off the engagement. No, no, no. It doesn't make sense. You can just build such a huge mansion with the money you earned. You're lying like that to get rid of us. Lying? I mean, it's such a big mansion. It must have cost several million dollars. No matter how many promotions you've got and how much more money you make than me, it's just impossible to build a multi-million dollar mansion. Well, I can. Actually, I have a patent. What? A pardon? I got it with a research project during summer vacation. When I was in junior high school, I put together an idea for stationery that I thought would be great. My parents thought it would be fun and told me to apply for a patent. And so I did. I got a patent for research project. Are you kidding me? Is a patent something that can be obtained in such a casual manner? Well, it was a lot of work. But, I guess that's part of my research project. And my patent got me a contract with a certain stationery company. That's quite a good income for me. Really? And with the income from the patent and my daily savings, I built a huge mansion. I got my patent thanks to my parents who gave me the freedom to do whatever I wanted. I wanted to thank my parents, so I rebuilt my parents' mansion. So then, do you really own the mansion? Yes. Even if I become the son-in-law, and 
even if I move into the mansion, the day when the mansion will be mine will never come? Yes! I won't even let you move in, in the first place. What? Of course not. I will let a rude person like you stay in my precious mansion. No way. I was dreaming of the day when I could live in the mansion. I was counting down the days when my dream come true. I don't give a shit. If you insist on living in my mansion, then pay the rent. Or you can buy the mansion from me in one lump sum cash. Rent or buyout? By the way, rent is at least $5,000 a month. If you want to buy it out, it's $5 million. Huh? Are you kidding? There's no way I can pay that much money. Then, give up living in the mansion. Oh no. You guys should be living in an apartment of your own size. I won't let you in. A single step in my mansion. No way. Oh, my mansion. It's my mansion. Well then, have a happy life with Sheila. What should I do, sis? Mom and Dad called me earlier. They told me that if I marry David, they won't let me in the mansion anymore. They threw all my stuff out of the front door and told me they're cutting me off as of today. Don't worry, Sheila. Even your parents leave you, you still have someone to be your husband. Even if your family abandons you, you can start a new life. You got to be kidding me. That's not comforting in the least. What's the big deal? I just stole your boyfriend away from you. And mom and dad are all taking your side. It's not fair that they always take your side just because you're good at studying. Why do they always have to take your side? It's fair, Sheila. Ever since I was a little girl, I've been studying and working hard at everything I do. Everyone is on my side because they know that, right? You didn't make any effort and kept slacking off. Don't start saying it's not fair. Huh? You didn't want to study or do homework. When your parents took you to a sports club, you skipped it. They also took you to a painting class, but you broke your brush in front of the instructor. When they took you to a piano lessons, you tore up the score and ran away. They tried to help you find something you were good at, but you just couldn't do it. Sheila, you always run away from everything because it was too much trouble. Because things are troublesome and troublesome. That only works for kids. And you, you don't even have a regular job because you say it's troublesome. And to top it all off, you always get fired. And the longest your job lasted was a week. It's a wonder mom and dad still care about you. And now? Your parents, who are so generous, finally told you to leave. It's about time you understood the gravity of the situation. Well, you know what? You don't know what it's like to be the one who can do it. Don't tell me you can't, when you never even tried. No, no, no. And you don't know how I feel either. How I feel when my sister stole my fiancé. It's got richening. What? I can actually demand compensation from you. You know, I don't care if you're my sister or my family. I'll make sure you take responsibility for hurting me. Oh no, wait a minute. Compensation? That's the one that asks for money, right? We're a family. That's terrible, sis. You're the one who's terrible. But... As your sister, I will show you one last mercy. Get the hell out of my life right now. Then I will waive your compensation. Really? You mean zero money? But right now, that's the deal. I'm so sorry. I will disappear right now. I swear I will never appear in front of you again in the future. I'm sorry for everything, Mila. I'm really sorry for everything. What? You're sorry? I did a really terrible thing, 
by leaving you and choosing your sister. But you know what? It was all a misunderstanding. What? I didn't think you'd build that mansion. Your parents were very modest and they seemed rich. And they have such a naughty little sister. They're rich enough to support their daughter. That's what I thought. Actually, I was the one providing for her. I am the one who pays her mortgage and all her living expenses. I'm really sorry. I am just so misunderstood and blinded by greed. And I cheated on you with your sister. But listen, we've already broken up, so let's get back together. Mila! What? You broke up? She was your type of girl. If you think about it, she wasn't my type at all. Huh? Oh, I was just jealous of you. You're the only one I really love. You're my type. What a flimsy confession of love. It doesn't resonate with me at all. Will you stop saying that and start over with me? I promise I will make you happy. From now on, no matter how much you get promoted or how much your income goes up, I will never be ugly jealous again. In fact, I will support you from the bottom of my heart. So please, please go out with me again on the premises of marriage. Who's going out with you, idiot? I'm telling you. I'm going to charge you compensation. What? I promised Sheila a compensation waiver in exchange for her never coming in front of me again. But not you. You will of course disappear from my sight. But you can be held responsible for hurting me just with that. I will make sure you pay what you owe. Oh no, no way. For God's sake. Give me some kind of waiver too. Let's see. How about you buy my mansion and you're exempt? What? Oh, of course you can't. Well then, I'll be in touch with you later through my lawyer. If you're sorry for everything you've done, please accept to pay. Wait, Mila. Let's meet face to face and talk it over. I'm sure you'll want to get back together again when you see my face. I can help but want to punch you in the face if I see your face. Now, if you excuse me. After that, I successfully received the compensation from David. Finally, the engagement was officially cut off. I don't know where my sister Sheila has been since then. My parents seem to know a lot of things. But this time, even my parents seem to have thrown up their hands. And it seems like even if they know where she is, they have no intention of seeing her again. As for David, my ex fiance he has run out of savings after paying the compensation. He tried to return to his parents' house, but they cut him off, saying, Don't ever come back, you shameless idiot son of a bitch. Also, his friends laughed at him and said, You ruined your chance. And now, he spent his days like a zombie, just moving back and forth between his cheap apartment and his office. By the way, I am working hard every day without being discouraged by the breakup of my engagement. Someone who works so hard should be rewarded, right? I will find a wonderful person and get happily married while working hard.